morning, kids. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, kids, and good morning, Bernie. Hey, brother. Does anyone ever get into trouble in the Bible? Oh, yes, they do. Even King David got into trouble a few times. King David, the greatest king of Israel, got into trouble? Oh, hi, Finn. We didn't know you were here this morning. Good to see you, little buddy. Sorry, I was a little late. I got distracted playing with too many toys. Well, yes, even King David got into trouble sometimes. Once, he did something really bad, and God got really mad at him. He did something really bad? Like, really, really bad? Yep, super bad. So bad that I don't really think it's kid appropriate. So just trust me and believe me that he did something he should not have done. Okay. We'll take your word for it, Charlie. Did God forgive him for what he did? Of course, because God always forgives. David did get into trouble, but God forgave him after David apologized. I bet God forgives us when we do things wrong, too. I'm sure God does, but God also likes us to learn from our mistakes. When we make a mistake, or even do something wrong on purpose, God wants us to apologize and then try to do better next time, and God forgives us. Is that what the word repent means? Absolutely, Bernie. When we repent, we say sorry to God for what we've done wrong, and we promise to try really hard to do better next time. Oh, I remember. Mom, I mean Pastor Elizabeth says that to repent is to turn away from what we did wrong and to turn back to God. Yep, like a holy U-turn. What's a U-turn? It's a turn in the shape of the letter U. What's the letter U? It's this letter right here, buddy. Oh. So when we mess up, we're supposed to apologize and turn back to God. And God forgives us and gives us strength to do better next time. Our God is so good. The best. You're right, pups. Okay, kids. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye, kids. I learned something today and I hope you did too. Have a blessed week. <laughs>